And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today, the 8th of May 2023. It's getting well into the afternoon session at this stage. Let's just see what's happening across markets right now. Of course, we had a positive session to close the week on Friday. The Nasdaq hit previous week's highs. The Dow and S&P both rose to return to just below bull market territory, of course, We've got further earnings to come this week. We've got around about 85% of the S&P 500 reported so far. The retailers are going to come in focus over the next week or so. US futures are near neutral in Asia. Asian markets are mixed in early trading. ASX is trading around about 0.8% higher with about an hour and a half to go till market close. Energy and material stocks are outperforming. And European markets futures are pointing to a mildly positive open the VIX has moved back downwards towards those 18-month lows that it hit recently. The US dollar index is soft again and near support. Not much movement in the USD today so far, uh, but gold dropped during Friday's session, remains comfortably over 2,000, and looks as though there might be some buying coming in around about that 2020 level. So it was neutral for the day, but just appears to be starting to move right now. Copper has bounced off 385 support, looks positive in Asia, and all moved higher from those mid-March lows. Bitcoin remains within a 3K range between 27 and 30,000, but gap down in early Asian trading to retrace after a strong Friday session. As earnings continue in the US, German industrial production numbers and Japanese PMI, uh, the latter already been released, are the major data points in an otherwise quiet day. Of course, later on the week, it ramps up a little bit on Wednesday, particularly we've got the US inflation number and the Bank of England rate decision also this week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today so far. In the FX world, the Aussie Yen looks really interesting. And we've put a line here around about 91.34. We think if it breaches this, we could see it up to around about 92. Uh, at this stage, however, if we look at the pivot levels, you can see there's one there at 91.50. That might just be the level to get excited about this potentially. On the ASX, we could flight center a couple of times over recent days since it broke through that $19.80 level and continued over 20,000. It's having another strong day in the trading action today. Uh, looks as though there's going to be relatively high volume again with about an hour and a half to go. It's looking good. It does have a target on this. Uh, quite clearly, it looks as though 22.62 might be the next resistance level. Uh, so certainly a move up to there in the short term uh, but really there seems to be quite a lot of popularity amongst this sector overall so we could see it breach that and if we look back on uh, the monthly chart you'll just see uh, that a breach of this will give plenty of upside going forward so one to consider perhaps but a recognition that maybe three and a half percent might be its short term cap as a price target trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now